So far we've been taking a look at voicing our chords in, in a three note voice uh, or shell voicing, some people call that. Now we're going to take a look at block chords, which adds a few more notes to each chord and makes them a little richer. So we're going to start with the D minor 7 chord again, and then I'm going to show you how to play those with using block chord style. And basically what we do with the block chords is we play the chord in our right hand, and with our left hand we're going to double the highest note. So in this case it's the seventh of the D, or the C, so we're going to add it at the bottom. It just makes the chord a little fuller and a little richer. Now if we move to the inversion and play the D9 chord, now remember that looks like it's an F chord, but if our bass player is playing the D in the bass, then it gives us the 9 chord. Instead of playing the D here, again we're going to double the top note, which in this case is the E. So that's going to give us, again, a richer sound and really doubles what's going on on the top. We continue that when we get to the 11, we're doubling the 11, and then finally, now you can do that in any key and in any um, inversion that you want, even when we come back to the root position chord, we're doubling that 7. Okay, so experiment with using the block chords in the various pieces that you're playing, and you won't use them for every note, uh, for every chord change, but uh, you will be able to use them at times to make the sound fuller and richer.